This is a splendid location. This is incredible. I know Italy quite well. I studied myself in Naples. And um, I know Florence very well. I also know Pisa. But I've never encountered such a place. I think we need some wonderful. So this is this serves everything. This, this Italian quality in food, in architecture, in everything there. Really, I I thought about well, how could I forget it that it is like that. It's really fantastic. And this my my praise for Italy. And Italy should become for all over the world always the host of many, many conferences. Secondly, now to the conference and to the content of the conference. Um, really, in analogy to what I have said to the location, I think these are topics that are so strongly connected to the humanist and renaissance traditions and uh, the renaissance tradition i made it clear my book so took up it was always was also like we are today on the break of a new era you know so much knowledge came in to this country and to italy and italy had to start to tackle the all the new knowledge and i think it is so to see the parallel situation of then and now is very important. It's very important for the Anglo-American tradition, which is now promoting these ideas of transhumanism and so on. But they need, but I think they are doing many, and repeating many of the problems and faults that uh, European culture has committed in the last centuries. But uh, I think the European idea has grown and it's absolutely necessary that we start to mix up these new technological ideas with the humanist tradition, really for making something new. Because I think the new American or dominated uh, tradition of technology are not aware of the many topics that this humanist tradition can provide to reflect them, to rethink them. So I think they are repeating old problems that could be saved in bringing the two topics together. I'm here for yeah. the first time at the centre yeah. and I have never been occupied in my life and what I'm doing and I'm professor of philosophy of computation science or, uh, philosophy. and um, so I've never been acquainted so much with the medical stance to that and indeed some things were very elaborated and I learned a lot by that because I understood that indeed the understanding of our bodily constitution has so much to do and today we see that even more has so much to do with what we think about our brain and what we have separated for so many centuries from the bodily experience you know and that these things uh, have to be kept together, and this is a wonderful uh, idea for this institution. I will suggest it very much. I am the head of the Center of the History of Human Philosophers and Scientists, and I will be very, very pleased to cooperate and to do something similar, perhaps also with the help of the organizer of this conference, Jim Miller, to bring that also to, um, let's say, to a, into a realm that has not been tackled so much here, which is because we have a huge history of women philosophers. <laughs> um, uh, making their mind up on these topics from women is more from Italy. Italy is the first place also where women started to speak, as Jakob Burkhardt said, 
in the same uh, uh, right, and they were part of the uh, uh, dispute in the same right as Mary. And I think these Italian at the time has not yet pointed so much to the strong tradition of Roman philosophy. It has since Renaissance, and this would be a wonderful thing to go for. So, um, you know, I think philosophers are very grateful people because they know that the delicious part of life is not necessary for them. And so it's all a gift. And I think we really have appreciated very much the spiritual and the uh, luxury of good food and everything and well organized and well uh, presented and well um, promoted uh, conferences. It was really a great experience.